New regulations are now in effect for motorized pedicabs, bikes, and scooters along the San Diego Bay waterfront. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Wale Aliu. Kimberly Hunt has the evening off. These are big changes for the area. ABC 10 News reporter Madison Wild joins us live from the Embarcadero to break down what's allowed and what's not. Hi, Madison. Hey, Wale. Well, if you've spent time along the Embarcadero, then you know that seeing and hearing these pedicabs, that's all part of the norm. But we've been out here all day and take a look. Not a pedicab in sight. Ron Hansen has worked as a pedicab driver here in San Diego for about 15 years. He's one of the only drivers we've seen all day. So we usually do tours back and forth along the bay. Per new port regulations that take effect on Thursday, motorized pedicab drivers like Ron won't be allowed on sidewalks, promenades, multi-use pathways, nature trails, piers, plazas, parking garages, parks, and piers. Those rules go for other motorized devices too, like e-bikes and e-scooters along the San Diego Bay waterfront. The place where Ron typically picks up customers since he prefers to work in the daytime for safety. If we can't be up with the customers, then we're going to lose a lot of rides. If they really do start coming down on it, I don't know where I'm going to go. The port says the new rules are to protect pedestrians and due to an increase in reckless behavior. But there's others that are just that are just wild. They're wild. They're playing music. Pedestrians telling us they've witnessed some close calls when it comes to collisions along the water. They just come up and they're just like, like whoa. Yeah, that's unfortunate for the, for, for the majority of them that probably do it really responsibly. The port tells us non-motorized pedicabs will still be allowed to operate in certain areas. These color code maps available online to clarify what's allowed where and what's not. I can tell you looking at those color coded maps online will help make this a little less confusing. The port also tells us that they're working on installing signage out here to make it extra clear for everyone. Live from the Embarcadero tonight, Madison Weil, ABC 10 News.